Blair, we're going back to this. Hey guys, Greg here from the Behind Enemy Lines podcast, bringing you another weekly whip video. It's been a busy week, the hype train 40k is in full force, so let's go and take a look at what's been worked on. Right, so you may recall that I was working on these martyrs for the Nikon tournament I was participating in. So, uh, all painted in Dunkel, um, did a little bit of work using uh, some streaking grime. I don't often use that, so getting a bit of practice in with that, and I think they've come up okay. Uh, they did quite a good job at the tournament on the weekend, so um, all in all, pretty pleased with how they've come out. So, still a little couple of bits and pieces that need to be done, but you uh, you get the general idea of of how they're looking. So, platoon of those bad boys. So I'll get to uh, get to working on the rest of the unpainted German hordes that um, that I've got sitting over here. So heading on over to the painting bench, and as we can see. Uh, I've got some dark Eldar on the table that I am currently working on. Uh, the Zwarves are back for ACW project, and I did manage to finish off uh, a few more just regular Union guys ready for ready for basing. So they're uh, they're sitting there, and it's pretty much a full regiment of guys sitting there. Um, so quite happy. So the dark Eldar scheme that I've I'm going for is is not your usual purples and, and greys and the rest of it. So I'm going for a bit of a, a red and orange scheme. So this is one that I've finished. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so what it is there is a, it's an orange or oh, uh, it's a base of the old G Dub blazing orange. Uh, it's then got a a highlight slash dry brush of Vallejo. Iraqi sand. I then use a army painter red tone to get into all the cracks and crevices. The the green that you see on there is uh, Vallejo German camo bright green, uh, and then just uh, a silver as well. So the next lot I've got coming through, I've got the uh, the larger weapons, but again it's that orange base. They haven't been highlighted yet, but I'm going for the the red gun with a with a light blue so the red is the the citadel chaos citadel based corn red and the blue is uh vallejo pastel blue uh that'll get a, a bit of a touch as well uh at the same time still working on my tnt war van so red yarn is underway uh she's gonna get a bit of blonde hair uh the gun a lot more silver uh it's a bit of a better gun so just give it a bit of extra, and that's going to get a really dark wash. Probably the uh, the armor paint a strong tone. Um, new addition to the painting table. Got Fizer to print this up for me. It's a uh, 3D printed brush holder. Um, just makes things a little bit tidy. So I got all the brushes sitting there. So um, yeah, that's what's been worked on. Haven't had a lot of extra time to do painting, but that's what's been worked on. So there we have it, guys. Another weekly whip done for you. Uh, that's what I've been working on. Again, not a lot of time to uh, to get a lot of stuff done. Hopefully next time you pay a visit to the new Blair, we'll have some of the new primary Space Marines down here that I'll be I'll be working on. Not really sure what chapter I'm gonna paint them in yet. Leaning potentially towards Ultramarines. Might do something a little bit different. We'll see how that goes. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe button down there or we'll have a little, uh, a little banner or a little spot up here or something like that. Uh, like the video so that we uh, we know that you're watching it and that you're you're liking what we're doing. Um, if you've got a couple of extra bucks spare, link to the Patreon is down in the description below. You'll see after the video there's a credits of the the people that have already backed us on Patreon. Uh, and as always, guys, game on.